and again, it's just getting the word and getting the pictures and getting the kids to remember how it all fits together. Obviously for high school, it's a little more complex than the vocabulary, but it actually works really well because then they have this whole association with it. So for this one, the kids, all they did was go over here to the stickers and search for whatever sticker they wanted and bring in a bunch of different stickers that helped remind them of culture. They also did consumer, which was the person who buys goods or services, and they had that little person thinking, what should I buy? And they have some money and some school supplies. And the nice thing about this company is if you go to their stickers and you can't find a sticker, a clip art that you want, you can bring in clip art from anywhere else. Like if your site, if your system buys the school's clip art or whatever, but if you email them or ask, a lot of times they will make the clip art you're looking for and put it up there for you. So that's really nice. A nice thing about this also, and I didn't bring any examples with it because I didn't bring speakers, but you can actually record, the students can record them talking. So we've used this in math where we want the kids to discuss what they're learning, their problem solving process, and they just record it and then they can share it and do it with the students. Or like in this example, this child could have recorded, what should I buy? And again, very, very user friendly, very easy to do but it's getting that visual picture to get the word with the information. It takes a long time if it's the little people and they're typing. So that's why in these examples you don't see a whole lot of text, especially in uh, conservation with me. This one was actually done with a small group of kids who really didn't have a clue. They got to that part of the unit where they're like, oh, everybody knows about conservation, everybody knows about recycling, and, and the kids are like, oh, we, we don't know what you're talking about. So the teacher, you know, when she had a chance, pulled the group over, and then she just used the pictures, and they talked about, well, you know, what is a light bulb, and what does this mean, and kind of went through the understanding, and they're like, oh, it's so cute when they say, oh, and now suddenly they're like, well, I could do that, and it makes sense. So again, the picture, the idea. Not everything has to be printed out. That's one of the nice things. These examples, they made into class books, or they post them on their bulletin board, depending on what the concept was. But a lot of times, it's just, Oh, you don't understand, go over to the computer in our folder and find whatever term it is and find. And sometimes one of the nice things that some teachers did is they would save this whole bank of them from year to year and so they'd have multiple examples. So conservation wouldn't just look this way, it would look five other ways or however many other ways, which really helps the students to get that knowledge because it's not just the one approach. Now, another thing that people are starting to get into are the interactive whiteboards and the smart boards.